today we're going to be graphing sine functions. First we want to evaluate our problem and uh, just look at it. Um, our problem is y equals negative 2 sine and we want to note that it's a sine function and not a cosine 3x minus pi 2 minus 1. And we have to, um, in special cases, we have to see, like our problem, that in front of the 2 there's a negative. So this is significant because when there's a negative sign, that means when we look at a graph, we and know that we have to, it's going to be a reflection over the, the x-axis. And uh, in special cases, when the x is not by itself, but luckily in our problem it is, we have to factor out the, x, you know, the sign function so we can get the x by itself. Um, and then lastly, we have to note that there is a negative 1 at the end of the problem. And uh, these are the, going to be the steps that we need so we can verify how our graph is going to look at the end. First, we want to label A, B, C, D our problem. We want to find the amplitude, the period, the phase shift, and lastly, the domain and range. Okay, and our problem, negative 2 is going to be our A. The 3 is going to be our B. The negative pi over 2 is our C. Negative 1 is our D. Now the amplitude is equal to a 2. Um, amplitude is it's always a length, so it's, it can never be a negative number. Our phase shift The phase shift is what causes our C, which is negative pi over 2, to be 0. So x minus pi over 2, we can set it to 0. And so when we add the pi over 2 to both sides, we know that x is equal to pi over 2. And our period? Our period, we know um, what it is because we do have a formula, 2 pi, that is given to us over b. And in our problem, our b is 3. So our period is going to be 2 pi over 3. Okay, so lastly, we want to find the range and domain. And uh, to find the range for the x and y values, x is equal to 1 minus a. So it's 1 minus a negative 2. And this negative makes it a positive. So x is going to be equal to 3. And for our y value, that is equal to 1 plus a. So 1 plus a negative 2. And that equals a negative 1. And we want to put them in brackets because we have the range in our graph to where it's going to touch. So x negative 1 for the y value, and we put them in brackets. And for the domain, the sine graphs, when it's, um, they, it's the lengthwise, that's what the domain is, and so it goes on infinite, so we, and we want to put them in parentheses, so it's going to be negative infinity and infinity, in parentheses. And we can, ver and when we do graph, we can verify all of these steps by just looking at the graph and graphing it.